In this video, I will be discussing how anim keyword is used in C++ to create enumerations, a user-defined type to define a set of named integral constants, often called enumerators. I will be discussing how enumerators are used with switch case and type casting is accomplished using static cast. I will be also discussing enumerator comparison. So let's go. Now let's start with enumeration in C++ and how it is created using anim keyword in C++. Now enumerations are used for creating user defined data types. Now a data type that is used to define named integral constants. This is very important. Those are integral constant means they hold integral values but they are provided a name. And these values, integral constants, named integral constants are called enumerators. So when you want to create a user defined type or this. Now uh, basically they help to uh, associate meaningful names to with specific values. Now you want to associate some names basically to define named integral constants and with enumerators. So you have to improve the readability and maintainability. So other uh, means I mean to say that you want to associate some name for example uh, like a group of fixed related constants of type int can be uh, used for this particular uh, we used with this particular enumerations. For example, you have uh, red, green, blue, which is RGB and representing colors. So color is the user defined type. Now in order to create it, I will write anim followed by the name of the data type that I want to create. That is the enumeration followed by the values it can hold. Now these values by default will hold the value 0, 1 and 2. Now these values will can be used in the program. So the first enumerator, as I've told you, this is enumerator. This is very important. Now, if I say this, this is enumeration. And if I uh, see this, these are enumerators. So you should know the difference between enumeration and enumerators. Okay, so these meaningful names are associated and specific values that is 0, 1, 2. How? By default, in this case, the first enumerator has the value 0 by default, since subsequent enumerators are incremented by 1. So, therefore, it is having the value 1 and this is having the value 2. You can also, now these are the values, now you can also explicitly assign the values to these enumerators and these values should be specified within the range of the integer type. Now, here you can see we can use any range of int, unsigned int, and depending upon the type. So, here we can also assign some explicit values like here. If we assign red is equal to 10, this means the value associated with this integral uh, value will be 10. Now, this is enumerator and this is enumeration, cons uh, enumeration or you have defined the user defined. Now, in this case, incremented by 1, so it will be 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. So this will be the value assigned to green and it will be assigned a value green and this again is assigned an explicit value so it will be assigned a value 4. Now there are numerous other examples. We have some names like the names of the days and we have defined a enumeration that is a user defined type that is day and this is how we can access and this by default is having the value 0 and next 1 and 2 and so on all the values will be signed by one increment. Similarly error code will be there and this is again a user defined type that you are creating and the named integral values that they will be holding is ok. So if you write ok it is equivalent to 0 and uh, here we have explicitly defined the values or specified those values. Similarly directions can be there and these values that is a named integral constants. Similarly card suit is there and these are the values that they are having. So you always prefer to choose descriptive names for the enumerators and this clearly represent their purpose. Once enumeration data type is defined, now you can use variables of that data type because it is a, used to create user defined type. So use like day is the name of the data type 
that I have created earlier and today is the name of the variable. Now today is, is the variable of type day and day is enumeration already defined so it will hold the value that is Monday. So it is actually not holding a value 0, 1, 2 but by Monday itself it is indicating that today value will be 1. Similarly, you can also explicitly specify in a single line and you can write anum color followed by the values enumerators and then the variable name equal to the value it will hold. Now this optional tag name is that you can avoid this color here also. So let us discuss how it is done in C++ with the help of a program. Now let us create a program that shows how this particular anum is used in C++. For this I create a user defined type let us say day. I can uh, preferably use camel case. Now with this I define enumerators and let it be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, such. So I've defined the annual data type using user defined data type day containing named integral constants as shown. Now I will be using this and uh, I've uh, used the syntax annum followed by the username and uh, user defined data type that is you can hear is the day and the data type has some values and these are the named integral constant finally a semicolon at the end and these are enclosed within the pair of curly braces. Now in this what we can do is we try to print the name uh, specifically we want to print the name because they are holding some values so let it be day names Now let me write the names that I want to print. So these are some values that I have assigned and I want to print them values as the names that will be used. Now for this I need to include hash include string. Now I print this particular names. So now look at the loop that I will be using int i. Now instead of number 0 or something I will be writing the named integral constant Sunday and it will end at such so actually the value here is a number but instead of number we have added a name now in this particular case you can see here I will be using this names that I have added for here so I will be adding a C out statement and for this I will be printing day followed by the variable day or I here because we want to print that particular name for that day followed by the name and we want to separate it so we have added now if we try to run this code you can get the values of this particular now these are the names that you have assigned therefore they are printed otherwise you are getting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that is very important over here here you instead of uh, writing 0 you have added Sunday okay so this is very important because this is a named integral constant that you have defined and it is the value that is signed that is printed now this is very important another important thing I want to tell you is that you can name the variable let us say same as the enumerator so here the enumerator existing is Monday and you are providing a name of the variable also and this variable is allowed like uh, maybe 12 and I simply print Monday okay so you can look here, here I get the value that is 12 
Now let us discuss how an enumerators can be used with switch case statement. I have discussed with the switch case statement earlier. Now it is used to handle different cases based on the value of the enumerators. That is the values named integral constants. Now make sure that all the cases that you add to the switch statement are uh, handled to avoid unintended behavior. Now for example, now look here we have defined the enumeration that is a user defined type direction with the values of the enumerators that are being shown over here. Now I have defined a function move that will return a string value and it will input the variable of type direction that is a user defined type that is a new that you have created. Now basically on the basis of the value that we provide a value will be returned that is a string will be returned with the values that are specified. Now there are four different enumerators used in with this particular enumeration. So there we have added a case for each of them and depending upon the value. So if you run this code and call this move function and specify a value that is up over here. So it will message and write down move followed by up is a string. So this is how the things work when we use with switch statement. So move enumerators can be used in the switch statement as follows. Now let us discuss a code for the same. Now let me create a code for the same. I create an enum, let it be direction and holding some values up, now left and right and finally a semicolon and I also define a function move that will have this value and let it be this function will return a string to me okay string so working with strings let us include now I provide the switch case statements case the first case is direction colon up and I specify the value to return semicolon so this is the value that I have specified with this case now next is for another case that I include okay switch I have to specify it is showing me the message which I forgot So within this switch I add some additional values like for up I write down also and similarly I print the message down. Next for the other cases also let me add for left and I print the message and similarly right and finally a default case that will return some value unknown okay so this function has to be called and let it be called with some message see out and I print the message move let us say some message left now I run this code and check the value so you can see here a uh, look here move left is being displayed I can run again and I can check for other value let us say up and you can get that value also so this is how this switch case is used with uh, this annums and uh, how it works annum defines a user defined type and these are enumerators that are used and with enumerators we have specified the cases in the switch case
Now another important points that we are going to discuss is the use of static cast. And now this is very important over here. Static cast as we have discussed already in our videos and introduced with C++11. It helps to explicitly convert between anion values and their integral values. Now for example if you specify this 3.9 and you have static cast it to direction. So 3.9 will be of int type because it only has integer values so this 3 will be in uh, specified and as a result it will be again converted to the specific integral value 3 like if you are having move uh, in the move uh, data type in the data type that you have written for data direction you have specified up down right uh, left and right then right is the value 3 so it will get move value as a uh, left uh, left right okay right because this is the last value so this is how we can use static cast to explicitly convert between anim values and integral values so let me show you in the same code how it is done now let us uh, show you the concept of static cast now in this Instead of writing this value, I use static cast and I specify convert it into direction and specify the value I want to convert like I wrote 3.9. So let me show you what will be the output here. You can see here right is getting printed. That is very important. Now if you don't do static cast, let me do the same without static cast so you can look over here what will happen it will get 3.9 as the value but if I want to convert it into specific value from within the direction because direction is a user defined type and it is having four different named integral constants so if you want to provide the value that is 3 for this in this case will be right so in that case, if you, read, uh, if you write it like 1.9, it will be converted to 1, then it will be printing the message down as you can see over here. Let me run it. So it is printing down. So this case, in this case, is very important if you don't static use a static cast and uh, cast it to the depth specific user defined type, it will be getting that value like here, it is getting 3.9 as the value. And if we use uh, like int to cast to int, then only it can get a value 3 over here. So this is very important and it is introduced, it is the one that we have introduced in C11. Okay. Now, in addition to static cast, enumerators can be used for comparisons also. That is, you can perform comparisons between enumerators. Now, this is based comparison is performed on the basis of integral values associated with it. For example, you have a variable first day of type day, which is itself an annu user defined type, and it is holding some values. Let us say it is having one value as Monday, and the second day it has value as Friday. So, if you want to compare it, you can compare it, but avoid comparing enumerators from different types that is if they are not having the same user defined type you should not compare it only if they are like here both are of type day then it is okay and this is the user defined type that is the user defined type and it is done using enumeration so this is the data type and these are the values it can hold Subscribe, like, share.